Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear ones. I have felt the ancestors around powerfully this month, given that we start the first month of a seven year with the Cancer full moon, where the Capricorn sun was conjunct Mercury retrograde and Capricorn illuminating the Cancer moon, indicating the importance of going inward, but also going backward to reevaluate and connect with deep wisdom. Not only is Cancer the ruler of the seventh arcana chariot card in the tarot, but Cancer is ruled by Mother Moon which symbolizes your connection with the Great Mother and intuitive knowledges, while Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, associated with the Great Father, and mastering the 3D realm and materializing your legacy on Earth. In a natural chart, starting with the sign of Aries, Cancer falls on the South Node, which actually signifies your past life wisdom and the wisdom of those from the afterlife, such as ancestors. While Capricorn falls on the North Node in a natural chart, and where their opposition esoterically symbolizes the spiritual path of enlightenment and integration that entails all of us remembering, psychically accessing, and activating the DNA like code wisdom inside us from those who have come before us and putting that wisdom and knowledge to use to create a new world order and maybe even heaven on earth. So watch these videos according to your sun, your moon, and south node sign. And take a look at your natal chart to see what zodiac signs uh, are associated with your sun, moon, and south node. It is no coincidence that we begin 2023, a numerological seven year, symbolized by the Cancer ruled seventh arcana chariot card, while Jupiter is in Aries, which is quite literally a transit that characterizes the energetic signature of the chariot card, which means to go forward with gusto and confident determination having access spiritual wisdom from spirit communication and integrated and mastered practical and spiritual lessons. Now, I speak more about the significance of Jupiter and Aries, where I give astrology and oracle predictions of what sort of divine doors of destiny, opportunity, and spiritual growth may be in store for you for the next five months. So definitely check that out. But in checking out that video, you'll understand a bit more about the sort of energy signature of Jupiter and Aries and how it is quite literally a sort of <laughs> uh, energetic signature of the chariot card. There's also a collective astrology breakdown of the most recent Cancer full moon and the upcoming Aquarius new moon astrology for this month of January as well. So... I also have a playlist below with ritual and psychic meditation support for your own deep diving and connecting with the other realms. But just know that the astrology truly conveys the esoteric urgency of the times and how it is time to pay attention to the signs and utilize ancestralism and support. And so that is the purpose of these readings here. What I will be doing is pulling cards to get information on what is your connection to the particular ancestors that come through, what sort of karmic cycle or current problem they are helping you to resolve for the year of 2023, and loving advice that they have for you for the year ahead as well. Hello, Taurus. So um, when pulling your cards, everything just really sort of aligned to this really clear and concise message that the loving ancestor advice that is coming through is about 
you needing to make executive decisions this year to truly eliminate any people, um, work and career circumstances and even networks that bring a lot of rigidity and even toxicity to your life, causing you to um, live on high alert, uh, to feel really stressed, um, to feel really unsure about who you can trust, and um, to really connect with a pure sense of passion and follow your sort of ideal life path and to not let anything sort of influence that decision, right? Um, in terms of the ancestor that is coming through here in the reading, it seems to be someone who is a great female elder or ancestor in your bloodline. It could be a grandmother, um, a mother, or even a great aunt. Um, so we have this card here, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is represented by Aunt Caroline in the Hoodoo Tarot deck that I'm using with regards to um, this question of who is the loving and guiding ancestor coming through and what is your connection with them and how might you know them, right? So in terms of these cards, it, it really suggests that this was someone who was you know, very wise, a great source of mother wit and wisdom for you. Um, but also maybe someone who suffered uh, domestic and even trigger warning sexual violence, right? Or some sort of injustice, betrayal, or sort of unfortunate event um, at the hands of maybe a male spouse, or even in terms of how they transitioned over, how they died, right? And I'm sensing that... Uh, the the event in terms of like the unfortunate events that this particular <sighs> female uh, elder experience sort of changed and really influenced family dynamics really powerfully um and that even the unfortunate sort of fate um is something that the family doesn't discuss much right I'm getting that this great female figure has been and is helping you to overcome blocks related to connecting deeply with your intuition, your feminine wisdom, sensuality, and creative self-expression and self-love, and overall a sense of freedom, right? Regardless of your gender, right? Um, and in general, that these were things that either was taken from them or even forbidden in your culture or your family in some ways, right? or that even you have been feeling deprived of related to your current circumstances or your environment, right? This may be someone who you even inherited a love for plants from or who had a garden or maybe who you shared memories of uh, caring for plants with. I'm getting some of this related to the fact that the Empress card showed up twice in terms of clarifying who this um, loving ancestor is and how you might be connected to them. Um, we have the creativity card here from the Zentaro that is related to, you know, karmic cycle or current problems that they are helping you to resolve or things that they are helping you to heal. And I also got the Empress clarifying um more information about this ancestor and who they might be because I was initially, you know, getting that, you know, this was, I was initially just getting really clearly from the cards about the ancestor that this was someone who, um, experienced some sort of domestic violence or a betrayal or who had a failed marriage um, in the family or something like that. And, and, and when I pulled the cards to clarify it, it just, it really did clarify it here. We have the King of Cups, then the Five of Swords, and then the Empress clarifying those three cards above. And um, 
when I was pulling these cards, I did it in the order of, you know, pulling the information about the ancestor and then these in tarot cards about what problem or issues they are helping you to resolve this year and got the creativity and then the morality um, in reverse. And then I pulled um, the, what is this deck? This is the mystical shaman oracle card to also help give additional information about like what sort of karmic cycle or issue they're helping you to resolve and what they may even be helping you to achieve for 2023. And I got, so when, before I even pulled that card, like when I was going through this, I got such strong throat chakra activity. And then, um, I got, heat all over my body um all of a sudden and then especially in my gut it just it felt like my gut was just hot like it was hot and then I pulled the fire card um and some of that is I, I'm getting that this is someone right who is and has been guiding you and protecting you through a journey of self-discovery and healing your relationship to your body and sexuality Right. And, and even your relationship to like your psychic and intuitive gifts and who will continue to do so throughout to 2023. Right. I'm getting that when you feel like these really deep, intuitive urges and signs and things in your gut, that it is really important for you to listen to them. Um, there is a really clear advice coming through that you are. Are really urged to not waste any special creative talents of yours and also to not stay in any unfulfilling romantic and frenemy relationships there's just a really clear message here about you not ignoring any gut instincts about severing a relationship with a masculine figure in your life about changing your career or network if you feel like you're surrounded by negativity gossip frenemies or have to live on higher alert or even on a hamster wheel um and i'm getting this with regards to this king of swords and and this internal dialogue card and also this morality card here that is in reverse the king of swords here um you know there's quite literally like fire at the back of their neck <laughs> and um we have the fire card here as well. And then the devil card, um, where in particular, it's like the throat and the crown chakra, you know, are these sort of focal points where there are these uh, sort of gold ornaments, right? And so that is where I'm really getting this this message about you know, it being really, really important for you to not ignore your gut instincts and to really try your best to transmute any energy that is really negative and toxic by making these critical changes in your life this year. Um, I'm also getting with this King of Swords plus uh, the devil here that it's really important for you to not necessarily doubt or expect the worst with moving forward and seeking information and even expert advice to help you solidify um, some sort of ambitious business plan related to an idea that you have, right? Or to make a career switch or expand something that you do already, right? Um, because we also have on target and the star card here related to really loving and helpful advice from your ancestor guides that are here in this message. And it says to follow your ideal life path. And it also says um, on the star card here that the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. And it's saying here that, you know, with anything that you do, with any of these changes that you make, just make sure that your intentions, your ambitions, and your desires are pure and not guided by greed, by lack, or even obsession or one-upmanship, but just 
true passion for some of you this has to do with you know the throat chakra it has to do with things like music and singing others of you it's painting it's something with gardening and plants or a lifestyle um but there is a deep yearning that you have for expressing yourself a certain way that is different from the life path that you have been on where you've either been under a pressure from others or from your industry or even a pressure that you have placed on yourself to maybe work a lot to behave a certain way or to achieve things <clears throat> excuse me throat chakra is really acting up with this um but or to achieve things right that have led you to a lot of stress um creative suppression or being really rigid right you really urge to not let any outside influence or even pressures to have like a particular reputation in the eyes of the public influence your decisions and endeavors right and and that isn't to say like don't be ambitious right but it is a sort of call especially because we have the high priestess and the eight of swords here I mean the eight of cups here in reverse to really get quiet and to really really do that deep inward work of listening to your body listening to your gut and paying attention to what you're really feeling what you really feel is your truth in your ideal life path here this card and this message you know on target and star is really a message from this ancestor to go for your ideal life path and know that it will bring good luck and blessings right and that they are in the wings really sort of supporting and bringing a bit of luck and serendipity that will match your efforts right for any endeavors and things that you are planning to really be successful and to work out here um the internal dialogue card here says we all have an internal dialogue with our mind, a constant stream of inner conversation. And it says, is your dialogue kind, supportive, and affirming, or is it critical and judgmental of both yourself and others? This card asks you to listen to your inner words, and if necessary, take steps to consciously change your language. And this is definitely sort of just emphasizing some of those things that were already coming through about how maybe you're feeling, maybe you're experiencing criticism and judgment with regards to what it is that you already do, the people that you're surrounded by, right? And maybe in general, you also have been putting pressure on yourself in these ways. And it's sort of this... Uh, it's a sort of dialogical relationship between the, the sort of criticism and judgment that you're experiencing from others and that you're also internalizing or have internalized um, over the years, right? And that is a part of your own internal dialogue with yourself and maybe even, you know, criticism, judgment, and even um, sort of competition and... I don't know, like ambition with regards to what it is that you're doing and what it is that you're also putting out. And so it's just really a call to just do a complete audit, <laughs> to do a really complete audit and to um, take steps to continue to heal that, to heal that. The you are safe now card here says it is safe to relax. There's just a lot here about you taking some pressure off of yourself. And to really make changes in, you know, any environments, networks and circumstances that have caused a great deal of stress in your life. This card reads you've been through a major ordeal and you've been amazing. You've handled it all. But as a consequence, you've learned to live on high alert. This needs to change. Your mind needs peace and your body needs to relax and repair. So this card brings a message. You are safe now and it is okay to relax. 
One of the things that definitely came through in your Jupiter in Aries um, astrology and oracle message was similar in that um, there's definitely something here about 2023 being a year where you're making some sort of critical career change and severing relationships. And there haven't been toxicity in your environment or your industry and networks. Jealousy, one-upmanship, all of these kinds of things, right? And, and questions of who you can trust, how to go about making the changes you're interested in, related to your own ambitions and making sure that, you know, you don't let any fears around money or how you're going to look you know, really cloud your decisions. I'm also getting some really clear message here about plants. I mentioned earlier that there's something connecting you to this ancestor related to plants. And I'm also getting some really clear messages here now about your relationship to plants. There's a message to increase the plants in your home, to purify the air and the environment, but also even to go forward with any plans that you have been sort of like toying with about moving to an environment with more nature and even foliage, right? I'm also getting from this Seven of Cups card here that, you know, a relationship with nature, more plants, and sound healing are things that are really helpful for any healing and alignment, and even um, maybe even business plans, right? There's a message here about your plants speaking to you and actually giving you intel of the energetic toxicity in your environment or in your life or even any toxins in your living environment, right? If you've had plants in an office or even in your home, right, that keep dying, it's because of the energetic toxicity or toxins in the environment that you're unaware of. Um, but the energetic toxicity is what you are aware of, but maybe that you're not connecting to the reason why the plants are dying. <laughs> There's also a message here too that... Um, Plants, if you have plants that keep dying, it could also be about giving them too much water. Um, there's just definitely something about your ancestor trying to give you a message through plants, maybe about the changes that you need to make to remove all toxicity in your life and even refresh and enliven your life in all of these ways that you you are already feeling the call and the pull towards, definitely with this creativity card here. Um, it's also a message that this ancestor will support the success of business ventures that you undertake related to plants, related to plant and sound healing. Um, that could be also even careers related to music and um, maybe even plant business endeavors related to cannabis, farming, gardening, or... Um, aromatherapy, just anything that is related to plants and maybe even naturopathy. To round out this reading and loving ancestral guidance, um, a channeled angel number also came through. And so I'm going to read that to you to kind of just wrap up this message. And this came through at the top of your reading. And I wanted to just read it to wrap everything up up and for you to see how everything just aligns 
Okay, so the angel number is 855. And angel number 855 brings a message to be aware of the coincidences and synchronicities appearing in your life at this time. Okay, as they are presenting to guide and assist you and also to bring you opportunities that will advance you along your path. Synchronicity links your outer and inner worlds in ways that suggest that there is a hidden force, <laughs> perhaps a loving ancestor and more in the universe, right? Some things are just meant to happen. Angel number 855 suggests that positive changes are taking place in regards to your income earning capacities, your career, and the financial aspects of your life. Trust that these changes will bring about wonderful outcomes and results that will ensure a continued flow of abundance in your life. I remember while doing that Jupiter in Aries reading for the Taurus Collective that one of the things that I uh, got as the message was that for some of you, you were worried about how potential changes in career might affect your money flow and that that could be one reason that was preventing you from going forward with taking a chance on certain things that you really had a passionate desire for. So the you know, the messages that have come through here definitely just give you that confirmation to go forward and that you will be supported. And that is being just emphasized here, even in this angel number message. So angel number 855 signifies that you are heading towards substantial changes in your life. Although the changes ahead of you may seem daunting to you right now, in time and with hindsight, you will recognize them to be blessings in disguise. Angel number 855 is a message from your angels and ancestors to remember that you are well loved and supported by the universe and to remind you to hold on to your faith and trust as you go through these necessary changes. Some restraints and constraints may need to be shed to enable a promotion or advancement of some sort. Wow. So there you have it, Taurus. That just wraps up your message with a beautiful bow and I pray that 2023 does prove to be a year full of prosperity and creativity and just empowerment and freedom for you. Definitely take a look at the other additional messages that are available for you. Definitely that Jupiter and Aries message that I mentioned and um, the other resources that are linked in the description box. I hope that you liked this video, that you found it helpful. And definitely please subscribe to support the channel and so that you are notified of additional messages that come through in the future. Thank you so much for watching.